Hello. Continuing on my development. This is my Gold TC prototype, version 2. And what I'm trying to do is use a carbon fiber leaf spring to get rid of weight here from the coil spring shocks. Typically, it's around 10 to 12 grams. Then plus the shock tower, it's around 15 grams of weight here. Plus the unsprung weight, it, it adds. And that's why I wanted to move the springs here. Leaf spring is lighter, carbon. It is dual rate, so I have a set screw here that when it engages the, the spring here, it, the, the spring rate stiffens a lot. So it's like a bump stop, but not as harsh. It can be set very uh, fine-tunedly set easily. So when the car is rolling, I can easily um, set it where it will stop rolling. But then the problem is the damping. It was, I couldn't figure out how to do damping. So I initially put on the standard dampers, but they are a little heavy. It's still, uh, it's still this one, the Schumacher Short Shocks, 6.6. .6. And that is already without the retainers. So it's 6.6 .6 grams. Not so bad. But of course, I cannot leave well enough alone. So I made micro dampers. Made of Tamiya turnbuckle uh, ball ends. And it's only 1.4 grams. So I can save around 5 grams here, here, and that's a lot in the RC world. Also will lower the CG. Now, does it work? Well, let's see. So it has, I tried to make it the same as the oil shocks. So it's not so bad. All right. I think this will work. I'll test it tomorrow. There's an O-ring here. This is a 3mm carbon shaft. And inside is 1 million diff oil, but you have to measure how much you put in to get the right amount of damping that you want. Now, whether this will hold up on a five minute run, I don't know, but we'll see. All right. But does it dampen at all? Uh, let's take a look. So this is the first time I'm doing it. <laughs> Video first before testing. So I don't know, will it work or not? Uh, let's see if it works. The main reason, one main advantage also of separating the spring and the damping, it's easy to adjust one without affecting the other. Unlike when you have a coil spring damper, if you want to change shock oil, you remove everything, including spring, and yeah, it's a lot of hassle. This one, I, if I want to play with the spring, I only play with the spring. And if that change the damping, it doesn't affect the spring um, lever and vice versa. I think you guys know what I mean. So here, that's it. And voila! <laughs> now the question is, does it even do any damping at all? Uh, let's see. Ah, seems to have a damping effect. I think it will work. All right, so we'll see tomorrow. I'll compare it with the dampers and with these dampers and compare the lap times. I hope this works because it's cheap. <laughs> so it's light, it's cheap. Um, I can make many of them. So if I just need different damp, I just snap on, snap off. Easy to change. Unlike this one, yeah, expensive. Then you have to open, change shock oil, bleed it. Yeah. 
So this one, micro dampers. I think it's going to do maybe a decent job, but yeah. All right. So that's my solution to those who are asking how I'm going to dampen. I thought of a lot of things. I tried initially silicone oil, fu fuel tubing here to create friction. None of it worked. I tried many materials here to dampen. I even changed the arm to a different material, thermoplastic elastic thing. Still not enough damping. I underestimated the damping. It was more difficult than the spring it 